as XR creators, we wanted to explore the tension between presence and agency. We are a part of a scene, but we really can't change it because it's virtual. When we started to explore the VR medium and its storytelling abilities, we naturally got into talking about the bystander effect. The bystander effect is a psychological phenomenon in which people are less likely to offer help to a victim when other people are present. In bystanding, the Feingold syndrome, the VR short we created, we reenacted and recreated a 2009 incident where a rowing champion by the name of Jasmine Feingold lost consciousness and capsized with her sky in a small river in Tel Aviv. While submerged for four and a half minutes, none of the bystanders nearby jumped into the water and helped her. הלוות ישראל בחתירה יסמין פיינגולד נמשתה הערב עם ימי הירקון והוא עברה במצב קשה לבית החולים איכילוב, היא הייתה במהלך אימון חתירה בירקון, הנסיבות של תביעתה שם עדיין לא ברורות. Bystanding is a hybrid between documentary and fiction. It allows participants to experience bystanders' points of view and streams of consciousness from that day. Participants are being transported to the park for four and a half minutes, the time Jasmine spent underwater, in which they can literally step into bystanders' bodies and shoes to witness their inner thoughts. In order for participants to walk freely in the environment, we first needed to create a 3D world. We recreated the park the way it was a decade ago using a method called photogrammetry. Photogrammetry is a technique in which lots of photos are taken of objects, environments, or even people. And from those photos, we reconstruct uh, an extremely realistic 3D model. Once we had the park in place, we needed to give it life. To do so, we tracked down and interviewed the actual bystanders from that day. During those interviews, we recognized several themes that kept recurring. These later on became the basis for the monologues of the bystanders in our experience. The challenge uh, was how to write short monologues. Every monologue had to include a very clear psychological explanation for the bystander effect, but then they also needed to be believable characters that you would be interested in hearing the story. We cast award-winning actors to represent these various individuals and utilized volumetric capture to represent them in the most photorealistic way possible. TETAV um, is a company that develops volumetric video technology. When you film something in volumetric video, you're not limiting the viewpoint. So the, the characters have volume. Well, we developed our own depth cameras. Um, a depth camera is a video camera that knows what the distance of each pixel is from the camera. When we have that from four directions, we can stitch it together to create a figure. What was mostly challenging in this project was the fact that you're bound into one space. This is a new way of filmmaking. I never did anything like this before. Here in Israel, most of the industries were shooting in real apartments, real locations, real scenes. This is totally different, you know, there's nothing around you, just nothing. There were some technical issues that you had to regard. It's challenging, it's different, and this is why we're doing our, our work. So we captured the space and the people. Now it was time for the final component, the people's streams of consciousness. Each bystander's confession is experienced as a totally different memory, providing a glimpse into that specific bystander's inner world, their stream of consciousness from that day. These were visualized using 2D and 3D animation created by a talented group of animators and illustrators led by Kung Fu, a Montreal-based studio. We hope bystanding will generate a strong memory for participants empowering the next time they will see somebody in distress. We hope you find this experience as meaningful and eye-opening as this process was for us.